Okay, rapid game against a 1541. Let's see how this game goes on. Um, let's develop the or push the pawn up. Oh, let's push up. Stick with what we do. Don't want to lose tempo developing our pieces. So I'm going to bring the bishop out. Right, let's get try. We can take this pawn, can't we? Yeah, let's try that system. Then push onto the bishop and the knight. So we're still in familiar territory at the moment. And I've, if you've seen the videos that we have done over the years, um, it is very similar to the stuff that we keep on doing. And we're drilling and drilling and drilling and drilling and drilling and drilling and, drilling and then drilling and drilling and drilling, you know? So that's why it starts becoming familiar because we are doing these similar types of conceptual openings. I say conceptual because it's the idea. Is my queen coming straight back? Have I got some? Uh, no. Just let me concentrate for a second. Come back for the king check. Stopping the castling. We like that. He doesn't have a white square bishop, so we're not going to get hassled by a white square bishop. Only thing probably is the pawn's going to come down, try and get it. So his king now is stuck in the center of the board, and that is a key thing, isn't it? Not letting the king castle. So we should be able to win some important tempi in terms of trying to pressure that area. That's my thought process. That's the strategy. I'm going to stick with it now. If we can get the white square bishop up there, supporting the bishop and the queen, then that would be good as well. Doubly enforcing the prevention of the king castling on the king's side. Don't have a problem with that. So we do have two pieces that are on the back, two minor pieces that need to get out into the game. So how, how annoying must it be for the opponent now? And really, they're not going to go and castle on the queen side because the queen side looks a little bit shot. What's he doing with the queen? Looking to reinforce that diagonal from the queen. <clears throat> Backward way around, obviously. Out to come back in. Let's get onto the d3, is it? It's not necessary. Could be supporting the queen as well. Queen could go to d3. But at this moment in time, I don't think that's an a key element. But nothing's clear at this moment in time where there's the only disturbance is the fact that they, they're not allowed to go and castle. So it's a slight weakness in terms of their position, but we don't really look like we have a clear way in.
So the king's got no armor, but we don't have any weapons to actually penetrate them. So <laughs> it's almost kind of useless. We need to find a way. It's got to be based on the opponent's next moves, ain't it? Maybe the bishop attacks the knight, doubling the pawns up. Okay, small piece attacking a high piece. Going up attacking the bishop. Need to get the rooks involved in the game. Look a bit slow to the party, but it's based on what the opponent's just done, which was a smaller piece attacking a higher piece. And we've reversed the attack and attacking their piece. Now they're supporting that pawn, it does open up space in front of their king now for another check from our queen. So I think we don't want to waste the check because also the blocking the passageway because it is chomping at the bit to get castled. I think if we bring the queen up, the only problem is this bishop's going to attack us, isn't it? better way of doing it. I'm going to take the opportunity to castle now. Exactly. So we can just go and attack the rook, attacking the pawn, take the pawn off the board. Do we go for the exchange there with the queen at this point or do we take with the bishop? Might be a good opportunity to get the queen off the board maybe. Attacking our knight. So we still have the pawn, or they could just move the pawn down. Uh, we could still move the queen, attacking the queen. Bishop takes on the pawn. Looks like a move order thing. Looks are ready to go on to the E final. Oh, it's giving me things to think about. Mm. Is that anything to think about? Oh, it's protecting the pawn. Damn. Too clever for me. attack their rook now then could we rook on the e everything seems to be yeah mm. oh my god there's no let up is there we do have a check on the king but uh
But it's true the the kind of statement that's it. Okay, hold on. Yeah, we can just bring the queen up, like we said. We're going to see if we can exchange the queen up. It's a bit of a doesn't mean they're going to, because everybody seems to be hating exchanging the queens. Yes, okay, so we'll wait to see if they offer a draw or not. They're probably not going to because they're higher rated as. No, they're not going to. It's coming down for the bish. game practice time again See if they've offered a draw. But they haven't. Looks like the time is running out. Okay, great. 